Lieutenant Tom McKee is the current champion on Tic Tac Doe, and Cheryl Clark is the challenger. They are in the middle of their fifth game. If Tom wins it, his winnings in cash and prizes will total more than $158,000, making him the highest money winner ever on Tic Tac Doe. In a moment, we'll find out what happens as, from Hollywood, it's everybody's game of strategy, knowledge, and fun. It's Tic Tac Doe. And now, here's our host, Week Martindale. Hi, everybody. Thank you, Bob Hilton. Good evening, everybody. Hello there. Well, we got some excitement brewing here on Tic Tac Doe, so let's don't put it off. Let's see what happens. Can that man, can our current champion, become the all-time one winner? Could he win his fourth car? Let's find out. Here he comes. Our current champion, whose winnings total in cash and prizes, $144,050, is the Navy pilot who enjoys horses and weightlifting, beats Tom McKee. His opponent is a high school teacher who enjoys playing tennis and going to the movies. Meet Cheryl Clark. So our school team, where do you teach, by the way? You teach where English teach? in high school, but where? At Manual Arts High School in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And I'll bet you just one of the best teachers in the world. Of course. Naturally. Cutest teacher I've met this week. It's the only teacher I've met this week. <laughs> Cheryl Clark, welcome back. Thank you. Job's cut out for you. Let's say hello to Tom McKee, who thus far has won $144,050 in cash and merchandise. If he beats you, of course, Cheryl, that means he will win his fourth automobile and he will have his own automobile agency. <laughs> Not a bad start. But that would also, of course, if you defeat her, make you the all-time money winner, as Bob said here on Tic Tac Toe. So let's don't put it off. Let's get it started and see how it all turns out. Here we go. Thank you. Last show, you were in the middle of your fifth game, and here are the categories that you were playing with. The subjects for the game are suitable titles, Japan, scary things, famous sites, animal stars, Toms and Tims, automobiles, aquatic biology, and famous couples. Here's what the board looked like when we had to suspend action. X in the center box for Tom, Cheryl top right with an O. The pot was worth $7,500. Let's shuffle the categories and begin. <laughs> There they are, Tom, all ready for your perusal. Select one. Well, Wink, why don't we try suitable titles in the top center? Okay, suitable titles as we begin. Tom, unlikely as it seems, author Robert Louis Stevenson created a famous evil doctor who might have been overheard <clears throat> singing the suitable song, Two Faces Have I. Name the doctor. Jekyll. Right, Dr. Jekyll. I'm Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Put an X there. Let's shuffle the categories around and put another $200 in the pot, Cheryl. Uh, it's time to block again. I'm going to go to famous sites at the bottom. Okay, famous sites to block Tom. Take a look at this picture, Cheryl. This famous opera house is located in an eastern city. For a vertical block, name the opera house. Uh, Covent Garden. No, the Metropolitan, the Met. Lincoln Center, New York, Metropolitan Opera House. So again, on the board, $7,700 as far as the pot is concerned. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six boxes remain. Let's shuffle. Select, Tom. Wink, I'm going to go with animal stars for the win. If you answer the question correctly, obviously you will complete a vertical tic-tac-toe. You would pick up $7,900 in cash, which would put your cash winnings alone over $100,000. You would win a car, your fourth, and that would make your total winnings on tic-tac-toe to $158,450, and you'll become the highest money winner ever. Tom, here is the question. A famous speech by this 20th century vice presidential candidate who later became president is often named for his dog named Checkers. For tic-tac-toe, your fourth car and a total of $158,450 Name him. Richard Nixon. Right! For Tic Tac Toe!
Now, I was just wondering if I might be uh, oh, so bold to ask what you two were talking about. You were carrying on quite a conversation there uh, with Cheryl. What, what were you discussing? After the game? Yeah, during the applause. I just told her good game. That's all I could think of. That was the longest conversation for those few words I've ever seen. Well, Tom, and of course to your lovely wife, congratulations to you both. You have just set another record on Tic-Tac-Toe by becoming our all-time money winner with $158,450 in cash and merchandise, not the least of which is the fourth car to add to your three. What are you all going to do with four cars? I mean, you're going to take one, Tom. She's going to get What about the other two? I don't know, Wink. Uh... Same for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, are you, are you making an announcement on... Oh, no. no. Oh, I thought well, I maybe. <laughs> Congratulations to you both. We'll take on the dragon again <clears throat> shortly. And Cheryl, boy, I'll tell you, that was one of the most valiant efforts I have ever seen on this show. You played some marvelous games, and you just uh, tick for tack. Boy, you stayed right with him right down to that last game. And, of course, you played four tie games, $250 each, their worth, their value. So you leave us with $1,000. I realize that's a far cry from that 7009 you could have won, but I hope you enjoyed yourself, did you? Oh, very much. You sure gave us some exciting moments. Ladies and gentlemen, Cheryl Clark as we say goodbye. Thank you, Cheryl. To face the dragon, we'll be back in just a moment. I guess uh, I should say this, because I'm supposed to say this here. You just won one of these for number four. Defeat five more opponents and win a fifth. Bob, tell him what it is. It's a brand new car. <laughs> you accentuary two directors, the mid-size personal luxury car with a spacious, comfortable interior, classic exterior. The Century two-door coupe by Buick. In addition, great reflection gives your car that great, great shine. It shines so deep down clear, it's a perfect vision. Great reflections from DuPont. Now, back to you, Wink. Okay, thank you, Bob. Jenny and Tom McKee, if you're all set, let's go over and see if we can beat the dragon again. You've done it many times. Come on over. This, this is no time to do that. Step right up here, Jenny. Behind the numbers on the board are various amounts of money and, of course, the ever-present dragon in the center box. All you have to do, as you know, is get to $1,000 or more and you win a prize package. You've won, gosh knows, I don't know how many now, but a lot of them. This time we have an adventure plan for you at a high altitude. Bob Hilton, please tell us about it. Well, first, Tom, it can get a little chilly at such a high altitude, so we're giving you these warm, down-filled jackets. A contemporary western look by Pioneer Wear and Ms. Pioneer. down filled vest and jacket, light, stylish, comfortable, and functional from Pioneer Wear. And you may be moving from location to location on your trip, so you'll need to pack your things in the sturdy, lightweight luggage. Athlon luggage for all your sport and travel needs. A six-piece set for him and her with leather grips, easy-to-stow sport bags. The strong, lightweight fabric is made of DuPont Couture Nylon. Next, you'll have a magnificent view of the scenery at that altitude, and you'll remember it always when you capture it with your new 35mm camera. Take it easy with Yashica's new FX3 camera, the super compact SLR camera for perfect pictures every time. So easy to handle with advanced technology, it's the newest generation of electronic photography from Yashica. And now, Tom, the only thing left to find out is where you're going. You'll be scaling the summits in the high altitude areas of the Swiss Alps. You're going to the winter wonderland of Switzerland, known for its fascinating and outstanding scenic beauty. Enjoy its quaint villages, scenic lakes, and snow-covered Alps that surround them. You'll have 16 sensational days, compliments of Tic-Tac-Toe. This high altitude package is worth, in cash and prizes, over $3,550. Another trip? Oh, you got you got to enjoy a trip like that to the Swiss oh, yeah. Alps. Well, avoid the dragon, and uh, otherwise, you you know, if you hit the dragon, you lose that beautiful trip, and that's what you don't want to do. You lose everything you hit the dragon. Get the tick and the tack, you automatically get the dough. Let's cover them up, move them all around on the board, and Jenny will leave it up to you, ladies first, I guess, Tom, right? Huh? And of course, they'll be happy to give you some advice out here about what number. We'll take the help from right out here in the. All right. Oh, there's three. There's three. Three's up. Three. You want to take three? You want to green it? All right. Number three. 
What do you have in the offing for Tom and this lovely lady? Number one, one hundred dollars. Okay, got a hundred. We need nine hundred more. This little girl here in the white sweater says two. And number two. All righty. Next door to the number three number is the number two number. Obviously, what do we have behind two? Tick. Add it to tack if you got to win. How about that group right over there? They'd love to offer you a little bit of advice. Jenny wants four. Four? Four. All right, gonna take them in line. You got two, you got three, you got four. But what do you have behind number four? 300 more dollars. So you need 600 or tap. Jenny? Uh, one. one. Gonna go with one. All righty, gonna go back to the top. Need $600 or tack to go with our tick. That would give you tick tack number one. What do you have for them? The dragon. You should learn after a while, stay away from number one, right? Huh? How many times at least four I remember? Four, they've all been behind number one. Yeah, Guys. just real bummers. Number one, that has been an unlucky number in this bonus game for you. So we got to say goodbye to the Swiss house trip, at least for the time being. Beat somebody, come back and get another shot later. Let's look at the rest of the board, though, to show you that there indeed was plenty of money up there. There was Tack would have given you the win behind number six. But let's say this because this is so nice to hear. A grand total in cash and merchandise, including four automobiles, one hundred fifty-eight thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. That's in cash and merchandise. Okay, Jenny, back to the seat we go. Back there to you, and good luck in the next game. Bob Hilton, who's that? He's a waiter at a restaurant, and his interests include sports, politics, and travel. Meet Tom McBoyd. Waiter at a restaurant, and interest includes sports. Tom, is there anything interesting you can tell us about your uh, your work? Sure, Wink. It's a real interesting restaurant where I work. It's a Hollywood restaurant called Ma Maison. It's been called the uh, Commissary of the Stars. Lots of just a watering hole for a lot of famous people in the movie industry in general. Sounds like quite an exclusive place. Well, the telephone number's still not listed in the directory. An unlisted telephone number for a restaurant? You've got it. Who are some of the famous people who've dined there? Oh, gosh. Suzanne Plachette, uh, Shirley MacLaine, Jane Fonda, George Burns, Jack Lemmon. Moshe Dayan was in this week. It's funny. You know something? I guess I've been a hermit. I've never heard of any of those people. <laughs> Wink, I think, I think I've seen you there, Wink. <laughs> I like to take my wife to all the good restaurants, the fancy restaurants. And if she's really good someday, I want to take her in. Okay. Oh. Ask for Tom. I'll promise to do that. Tom? Welcome, and good luck on Tic-Tac-Toe. Thank you. We'll be back in just a moment to continue. <laughs> Starting block, we have Tom versus Tom. I don't know how I'm going to handle this. I'll call, since you spell your name Tom, Mr. Champ, T-H-O-M, I'll call you Thom, and this will be Tom. Okay, that's what, that's <laughs> I what... don't know. Anyway, we'll work it out. Let's look at the subjects. We're dealing with famous firsts, the odd one, sleuths, the UN, symbols, travel, Republicans. There's a secret category that could be any category at all. The correct answer doubles the pot. Young stars rounds out the nine subjects. Tom, start. It's not, it's not the kind you play, but I'll take symbols. Symbols in the center, all righty. Tom, for $300 addition to the pot, <clears throat> take a look at these symbols. These emblems represent two of the world's largest auto manufacturers. Take a few seconds, and then I want you to name them. Emblems that represent two of the world's largest automobile manufacturers. Name them, Tom. Let's start with this one. Chrysler. Right. BMW. Right. Put an X in the center box. Three hundred dollars in the pot. I got this figured out now. You're going to be Big Tom, and you're going to be Little Tom. All, all right. right. <laughs> all right. You don't mind that, do you, Little Tom? Not under these circumstances. All right. $300 in the pot. Let's shuffle the categories around, and <laughs> it'll be your time, little one. <laughs> that sounds I'll funny, doesn't it? I'll take the bottom left for Republicans. Republicans, all righty. Tom, he was the first Republican president elected, and he served two terms. His vice presidents during those terms were Hannibal Hamlin and Andrew Johnson. Name him. Lincoln. Yes, Abraham Lincoln. Put it all there. Let's shuffle the categories around. $500 spot for it now. Tom? <clears throat> yes, ma'am. Oh, I think I'll go with... Uh, <laughs> Don't let us interrupt you over there, guys. I think I'll go with travel in the bottom center. All righty, travel, bottom center of the board. Big Tom, one of the most famous resort <clears throat> beaches in the world, stretches across the countries of Italy and France and includes the cities of Portofino, Cannes, and Nice. Name this resort area. The Riviera. Yes, that's right. The Riviera, beautiful area. 
Go to next there. Let's shuffle again. Another two hundred dollars in the pot. Seven hundred bucks. Okay. Little John. I've got to take travel for a block. For a block. Here's your question. One of South America's most popular resort cities is the home of Sugarloaf Mountain and the Copacabana Beach. Little Tom, for a block, name it. Rio de Janeiro. You got it. Put a block there. There you go. Let's move the categories around. Another $200 <laughs> added to the pot takes us back to Big Tom. Wink, I'm going to go with travel on the top left. Okay, travel it is. You're going to be doing a lot of that. A visitor to the second largest country in South America might watch the colorful gauchos of the Pampas or visit the immense desert of Patagonia. Name this country. Argentina. Yes, that's right. Another X on that board. Uncanny. Fantastic. $1,100 in the pot. Four boxes left as we shuffle. Little Tom, it'll be your pick. He's got me on the run again, and I'll take the UN. All right, for a diagonal block. Little Tom, the United Nations flag depicts the world globe surrounded by two branches of this tree, which is an ancient symbol of peace. For a block, name the tree. The olive tree. Yes, you block Tom. Olive tree, put an O there for a diagonal block. $1,300 in the pot. Three boxes left on the board as we shuffle. Famous first, sleuths, and secret category, Tom. Wink, I'll go with the secret category in the right center. Big Tom takes secret category. It is famous mansions. Famous mansions. Answer this question, the pot will double to $2,600. In the 70s, thousands of mournful fans flocked to Memphis, Tennessee to view Graceland, the stately mansion which had once <coughs> belonged to this legendary singer. To make that pot jump to $2,600, name him. Elvis. Right, Elvis Presley. So we add another bunch of money to the pot. It's now worth $2,600. Two boxes remain on the board. The categories in them will decide what happens to you in this game. Shuffle. Travel and Republicans. Little Tom. For a block, I'll take Republicans. Still got you on the run, doesn't he? Republicans. Answer this for a block, and we will also have a tie game. Little Tom, Senator Lowell Weicker, who was an important member of the Senate Watergate Committee, was first elected senator from this New England state in 1971. For a tie game, name it. Connecticut. Yes, we have a tie between Tom and Tom. <laughs> so we add another $200 for that correct answer, and that brings our pot to $2,800. And we'll be starting a new game now with nine new categories, and the pot will continue to grow from that amount. So take a look at the board, and here are our subjects. Comic strips, male singers, spelling, big and little, ships, television stars, tennis, poetry, and the South. All right, big <clears> time. <throat> Let's go with ships in the center, Wink. Ships it is. And miss this when you're in trouble <laughs> at home. This international yachting race, in which the United States has been victorious for 126 years, is held annually off Newport, Rhode Island. Big Tom, I want you to name the race and then follow that by naming the nation the United States defeated in 1977. Here's your extra time. An international yachting race is what we're talking about in which the United States <clears throat> has been victorious for 126 years, annually held off Newport, Rhode Island. Big Tom, name the race. That's America's Cup. That's right. To complete your answer and put an X in the center box, name the nation the United States defeated in 1977. This is a guess. France? No, Australia. Ah, shoot. I knew it was the Yacht good. Courageous won, by the way, in 1977, and we defeated Australia. $2,800 in the pot as we shuffle the categories and move over to Little Tom. <laughs> How appropriate. I'll take uh, Big and Little in the center. Big and Little. <laughs> Type casting. It just happened to come up that way, Tom. Here is the question. And again, it's worth $300 to the pot, and I'll give you some extra time. The Pacific 10 Conference annually meets the representatives of another athletic conference in a football game held in Pasadena. I want you to give me first the name of the other conference and then the name of the bowl. Think about that for a few seconds. <laughs> Tom, the Pacific 10 Conference annually meets representatives of another athletic conference in that football game held in Pasadena. First, give me the name of the other conference. The Big 10. That's right. 
the name of the bowl. Rose Bowl. Yes, that's right. And an O goes in the box big and little. We have $300 to the pot. We'll be right back in just a moment. But Tom's holding my little microphone because I'm going to take just a moment to put on my hat for a Friday, and it is definitely a loser. Okay, it's definitely a winner then. Do you like this, America? I ask you again. Bye-bye. We'll see you next time. Some of our departing... GSN takes you back in time when cell phones were getting small and the little blue pill made it big. The chase was on for a white Bronco and everyone wanted to be a millionaire. We just want a million dollars. This Sunday, GSN plays it back with a marathon featuring the best game shows of the 90s. Let's play. Plus, play it back. 90s game shows.